I'm Josh Horowitz reporting from the Natural Resources Defense Council's Night of Comedy. A ton of huge stars have come out tonight to support NRDC. Here are some of the sights and sounds from the big evening. Is there anything inherently funny about facing some of the perils of the environment? Is that a tough uh, topic to handle as a comedian? Uh, it is, but at least when you have an informed audience, I think you can sort of talk about things in a way you can't if you were just on any stage. So, you know, this is a really educated audience, and I think they care about the cause and are probably open to hear jokes about it. I can't believe I'm on this bill. Like, it's crazy. Did I create Seinfeld? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to go back to Wikipedia and look it up. Did you? I think I did. I think I did. A lot of people, as much as they admire, what do we do? I don't know what to do. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Sir? Sir? Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Good to see you. Oh, my, is this cashmere? So this is a... This is a no-lose proposition tonight, you got to admit. Really? No? How, do you, how do you figure? Well, we've got someone like you, Mr. Seinfeld, Ms. Schumer. Oh, I thought you meant no-lose for me. But, you know, when, when you go up and try and say something humorous, there's always the chance that it won't be received. Yeah. It'll be all right. I think it's going to go fine. The bottom line is, it doesn't matter if you, you know, cure every health issue if we have no place to live. So to me, the environment is number one, because if I can't breathe and I can't drink water and I can't live, you know, a, 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 on a decent plot of land, what's the point? Talk to me about what brings you out here. You know, recently I was just in Alaska, in the Tongas, and it is very difficult to go and visit places in the world and see how they are eroding and what was is no longer and not want to get involved in something like this. So, you know, I'm all about obviously saving money, but besides saving money, you have to save the environment. I just had a niece born like 15 months ago, so I have more of a sensitivity to trying to salvage what we can for the next generation. What do you say to somebody, say, why, you know, why act on climate? Why should they make an effort, you think? Because, look, I mean, the fact, the fact of the matter is that we do have a global warming crisis in this world. And, I mean, I, at this point, I don't even know why we're having this debate around it, frankly. But it, it is a, climate is a real concern of the 21st century, and it's not going away. What would you say to somebody that's hemming and hawing, why should they act on climate? Why should they make the effort? Well, you know, I started, I usually take a helicopter to work, now I carpool helicopter. Um, I just think any little thing you can do. You compost. And compost, yeah. <laughs> Those are the two ingredients, yeah. right? No helicopter and compost. Yeah. No, I, well, no, so there's still a helicopter, I just take it with other people. Oh, right. yeah, it's a carpool. <laughs>